Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Just did a live show on Wednesday. Let me give some up. Oh, look who's behind me. The Bubba. You got applause. Did you notice that? How are you? Good. Bubba just got his haircut done by Mama. It's his birthday week. So everyone make sure you say happy birthday to him. He turned 10. He is growing up way too fast. Way, way too fast, aren't you? You're kind of blocking my new picture back there. Do you see it? Maybe swearing will help. It does. I know that's hard to imagine. But today, well, if you didn't hear the news, hey, Matt, let me post these up. I'm going to put you guys over here. Let me put my little Steve Chapman logo up over here. Oh, went the wrong direction, but that's all right. If you're new to the channel, I'm Steve Chapman of Fishing Floor Radio, and we are not doing shows on Saturdays right now. Unfortunately, we um, they're not letting us into the studio, so I'm going to do these live things. I'm going to invite some friends on. Up, oh, happy birthday, Bubba, from Matt. Say thank you. Hey, Daryl. Um, so we're going to do. I'm going to do these live shows, and we're going to bring in some new people, some friends, and other things like that. Maybe some anglers. I've reached out to a couple of them to try to get them on, so we can have some some discussion and see what they're doing in this crazy time right now. Um, but if you didn't hear the news, because a lot of people aren't on my personal um, Facebook page, I put a post up. Hank says hello. Lenny, hello. Robert, hello. If you didn't hear the news yesterday, um, yesterday afternoon, uh, the American Sport Fishing Association canceled the annual ICAST. Let me turn this down because it seems like I'm yelling. Bum. Bum, bum. Right, yes. And the ICAST is a, a huge, humongous show. Um, the American Sport Fishing Show. It comes out every year. If you don't know what the American Force Sport Fishing Show, they come out every year. It's usually here in Orlando because of all the great attractions and the hotels and everything that we have. And they uh, all the manufacturers, small manufacturers, to even bigger manufacturers come out and display to the buyers. Really, it's a buyer's show. It isn't meant for, it isn't open to the public. But the buyers come out and they're able to talk to, um, talk to the companies and order what's going to be come out either at the end of this year or next year. And it's a great opportunity and it's really where we kind of dig in a little bit. We, we as the radio show, oh, there you go, Bubba, Butch, Uncle Butch says hello. Um, we kind of dig in and we go there with a set goal and a, a plan to interview. Are you getting out of here? Yeah. I love you. Um, we go out and we go in there with a set plan of interviewing people and trying to get as much content as possible to put on the YouTube channel so that you can see the new products way before they're kind of released. It's actually a really big project and something that we work very hard at. Last year, Les did a great job at it. And you can go back and, I don't know if you can see Les's stuff on the um, on the YouTube channel, but you can see the stuff that I do. And we go around and there's a, there's a, a plan. There's a goal behind it. Try to, try to, first off, we go there to see our friends in the industry, that we've had relationships for 12, up to 12 years. People like Daiichi, who's on the bottom of the thing. The guys at Daiichi have been a sponsor of the radio show for 12 years. Costa Sunglasses have been a part of the, the of our of our radio show for 10 years. Engel Cooler, Yamaha, Shimano, and even Tackle Webs. The new, here's the new Tackle Webs hat, by the way. I'm wearing it, proudly displaying it, because... Um, because truthfully, I kind of am doing this at last minute, um, because I wanted to go fishing in the rain, but it's raining out still. Um, and you don't even want to know what happened to me last night, really seriously. But the American Sport Fishing Association I ICAST show is a huge deal for everybody in the industry. They allow media to come in, and the problem is, is that a lot of media and other people come in, and they all have their hands out looking for freebie stuff. And then what happens is it becomes a lot of competitiveness amongst, yeah, thanks, Mark. Oh, by the way, Mark, I'd like to come out and go fishing in the near future up at the Ritz-Carlton, if possible. Can you text me after this is all done, if if you're, I know you're watching? 
because I'd like to, I have an idea. Anyway, sorry, disrupted. Um, so it's a great opportunity to go out there and meet new people and see new stuff. And really, last year was our best year we'd ever had doing interviews and things like that. Um, so it's 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 a it's a big thing. I'm banned from the property. I wish. Hold on, let me put that. I'm banned from the property. So it's a big deal for us. And and we had our most views that we've ever had on the YouTube channel from our what we did at iCast. And I'm just going to be as truthful as possible. What we did last year was about this big compared to the eight months that we've been working on what was going to happen for this year. Um, and it's kind of heartbreaking in a lot of ways because there's a lot of time by three of us. Um, if, you, if you know Mike and Marcella from TackleWebs and myself, we've spent months really Months and I can understand some of the um, some of the people that are happy about this. My my great friend from Who Rag Doug was very happy to hear this um, because he he has a different experience on what iCast is, and for him to have this time and and be able to not have to spend the money most of the time. Most of these guys that come out to iCast, it isn't like. A couple thousand dollars to show up and, and participate and be part of it. iCast is thousands upon thousands of dollars. I know one small company that does fishing rods told me that for them to show up at iCast is a $30,000 expenditure. And they go so that they can show people new stuff. Uh, let me put this. Hold on, Don. Let me read this. Don Stead, work at a big manufacturer uh, at iCast booth. They were while we are disappointed, we think it is good to postpone it this year. It costs a lot of money for exhibitors and attendees to attend. Uh, with the national shutdown, it'll take time for most of them to recover. That that's exactly right. There's a lot of people that this is this is actually going to help a lot of people. Uh, it's going to hurt as many people as it helps, though. Too. The great thing about iCast is is it's a way to keep up the friendships, and at the same time. Um, you know, it, it, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. It, it keeps those friendships up, but it also allows you to see the new stuff for media. I'm talking about myself as a media person because there's other people who really don't, who don't want media involved in it because really what happens is when, when this show comes out, buyer, it's meant for buyers to come out and check out new things. The media is kind of secondary. Having said that, there's more media people that show up than buyers, so they do need the media, but there needs to be a, a right balance on who really is media and who really is not media. And I say that with the most respect to everybody, but I know there's a lot of people that might write a vlog once a year, and they believe that they're media, and really, they're not. I know they are, but in my mind, they're not. And what happens is they get in there and they cock block and I saw him saying that, the real people who are trying to get work done. So for the industry, this is really a crazy, this, is, this was something that I guess I think most people saw. The truth be told, a few weeks ago, several weeks ago, ICAST and the ASA came out and had a big ordeal about how this was definitely going on. And I think it was the wrong thing to do. I'm actually kind of disappointed that they would jump into this so fast and not really put the thought behind it. Because there were a lot of people that came back and started planning to make sure that they got here. Because they, ASA said, we're doing this. And I think ASA should have said, look, we need to, let's just tone it down. Everyone, don't be spending money, don't be making plans, don't be building booths, don't be buying extra materials and stuff that you're gonna need to get into ICAST. They should have just said, look, we need to just take a break here. This coronavirus is really something that we need to look at. I mean, really, everything, if you're not here in Orlando, um, and I'm just 25 minutes away from, from the convention center, the Orlando Convention Center right now is the hub for everyone's getting tested for corona. It's the hub. 
you can drive in there in the morning and get tested for free. And so to think that they were even, I don't even think they thought that that was what was happening there. And while everybody else is making all these giant cancellations and postponements and stuff, ASA came out and said, look, we're going to do it. And I think it just jumped, the, I think they, they overextended, I guess maybe that's the right way to say it, instead of uh, looking at this at a, at a reality. I mean, this really is going to hurt the industry. This is going to hurt the industry. There's a lot of small companies that iCast is the most successful they have. Not to mention, heaven forbid you should win one of those um, iCast award winners because that is like throws your sales through the roof. It really does. That iCast, best of iCast, is a great, um, a great sticker to put on your lure or whatever product you win. It does help sales. It does. And everyone tries to win that, and that's a big thing. So here's what my thought is. We had some really absolutely gigantic plans for iCast. It was a ton of money that was going to be spent. It was, um, uh, it was, it, this was something that was nine or ten months in, in, the, in the works. So my idea, my thoughts are, wh what do you guys want to see from the radio show? Uh, Jason, my boy Jason said, iCast will be fine with their virtual version they are talking about. I disagree. No offense, Jason. But I don't think that's going to give, I think the virtual version of this is going to allow uh, buyers a little bit of an opportunity to see what they're talking about. But unless you have the lure and the stuff in hand, you really don't get the feel of what the product is. If you don't get to see the lure swim in the in the in the booth in the water as in, in at their place, this is um, you're you're really going on looks of what this is. Fishing tackle retail will do a great uh, in depth review of lures and all that stuff, and I think they'll probably do a pretty good job. But I'm not really positive. And I could be wrong about iCast doing a virtual version. Not to mention, that doesn't help. That doesn't help me as a fishing radio show because I'm not sure that I'll have access to it, and that kind of sucks. So here's what here's what I want to know. Um, let me see. Hold on. Interesting insight about iCast displaying news. We'll see what the virtual uh, event will look like. I'm not going to hold my breath on it. That's the truth. Um, you know, I hope I'm wrong. I really, really do hope I'm wrong. But that doesn't help me as for content for the thing. So here's my question. Um, what would you like to see the radio show and these live casts do? Would you like me to get some of these new products and put them on here and have interviews with the companies that are putting out those new products? What do you think? Would you like to see the launch of some of these things and see the launches on these live casts, on these live podcasts or whatever you want to call these, live from the casa. Yes. Not many people know about that, Butch. You're right. We are going to miss the ice bar. I'd go into that, but there was a a party. That's the best. That's the only thing I could say. So would you like to see me do these things and, um, and, and have a manufacturer come on here and talk about their product. What it does is it will allow them to talk about their product, we'll be able to see their product, we'll be able to ask them questions about their product, and though while we won't have it in hand, we'll be able to see what they say. Will that help you make a, a decision on purchasing those? I mean, do you look at those closer looks that I do, and do those help you uh, go out there and try to purchase new products? Um, that would be a wonderful. I would love to do that. Bring them to the resort and test them here. That would be wonderful. <clears throat> also, let me write that down. Also, you can't beat the sales on FaceTime with the customer creating relationship in person. I agree with Steve. Virtual is by the same. So there's there's some ups and downs to this whole thing. 
like I said, there's a lot of people that are very happy about this. And the reason why they're happy is because they get inundated with uh, the hands out, people looking for freebie stuff. And I understand their point of view. And then there's other people like myself that are, I'm really, I'm, I'm really disappointed in, um, in this whole thing. I really am disappointed in it. Um, I understand it, but I'm disappointed because from a content side of the view and, and from the radio show to, of the view, this is something that we get a lot of content out of. It's, it's, it's um, it's something that we look forward to. It's something that, quite honestly, um, if you could only imagine the amount of work that goes into it and the amount of walking and all that other stuff, uh, the, the three days there is a pain in the ass. But we do it so that we can help hopefully give you all a, an opportunity to see the new stuff that's out there. Let me, hold on. Let me catch up. You guys are texting nonstop. Also, if they do a virtual, can you get more viewers who can't be at the show? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Matt Heffer, yes, your closer looks definitely make me pull the trigger on getting some new stuff. Thank you, Matt. I should say I've had I did the new that last closer look. Hold on. Of this bait, fish lab biogill with lead the swim bait. Uh, I should do a second part to that. I got to fish it last night. Um, and I went one for eight. I taught my son, you want to see what the bait looks like before you before you cast. How do you know what it looks like and how to fish it? Exactly. Thank you, Robert, Joe. Um, hey, Ray. Let me write. Let me put this up. Tally Ray. So, um, so we're going to try to do some... I, I, I'm not sure. I'm going to post this on YouTube. I'd love to know your guys' comments, so go to YouTube and comment on there and tell me what you think. Um, I'm sure there's some manufacturers that would love to come on, and I'm going to reach out to some that are sponsors. Um, but I'm, here's the other thing, is without an iCast, do some of these guys hold back on the stuff that they were going to put out this year and wait till next year, which is understandable. Um, why put the money into all of the work and getting that new product out when you're not going to get um, the, the when you're not going to get the push that you get from the iCast? It isn't just me that does media, by the way. That is media. There's a lot of great media outlets that go there, do some great interviews, and put it out on the, uh, out there for YouTube and for y'all to check out. And those guys are those. I, I love those people. I mean, I know a couple of them very well. In fact, I know some of them that when they come up to me, I move out of the way so that they can get their interviews done. Uh, but then there's other people that just get in the way and are just asses. Um, and that's not the, the right thing to do anyway. So uh, I'll put this on YouTube after this, and and hopefully we can come up with a thing. I'd, like I said, I'd love to know what you guys want, would like to see me do. Because really this whole thing... You know, we make pennies on YouTube. It's pennies. So really the whole thing is doing it because we love putting out this content for you. And either you love it or you hate it, but hopefully you love it. Let me see. Jason, how many of these companies are from overseas that can't be here because of travel bans? There's a lot of them. I cast actually a lot of people from China come in to talk to manufacturers and other people so that they can get their business. And really, there's a lot of knockoff people that come into ICAST that have reels and lures and all this stuff, and they sell it under the cost of all these other people. So actually, that kind of helps us in a way, because really, we're so dependent on China to produce this stuff, because they produce it less than what we can have it made here in the United States, that we need to start looking at this a little bit differently. If you can buy American, you should buy American. I mean, oh, somebody's calling in. Um, I'll have to take that in a second. So, anyway, let's let let me hear your comments. Go to the YouTube channel and comment. And tell me what you think. You know, I want to hear. I want to hear everybody. Good, bad, indifferent. Try not to make it too personal, and let's not do that. Let's be above all that. Just because you have a computer and you can hide behind the screen doesn't mean we all have to be jerks. Because trust me, I've had to ban a couple people because they're jerks. And I apologize, but they're jerks. I mean, they say rude things to other people, and I don't... that This is not what this is about. 
I'm all about joking. You can make how, how fat I am and uh, that my throat's still hurting. I don't know if you know this. I, I definitely sound like a different person from Wednesday to today. I mean, I'm a definitely, I'm finally over the hump of the sinus infection. Still got a little bit of it, but not to the extent of that I had Wednesday too. So anyway, guys, make sure you go to the YouTube channel, like it, subscribe, and tell me what you think. I want to know. I hope everyone out there is definitely, definitely healthy. I hope God is blessing you. I hope you're having a great day. And get out there and go fishing. Fishing is really, really great right now. This is a great time to get out there and go fishing. I'm going to do something here in about 22 minutes, to be honest. So thank you, guys. Uh, if I don't tell you enough, thank you. I, you wanna, I'm sending my love to you, too. Be ha healthy. Please stay healthy. Wait a minute. I'm putting that on now. J Jason, by the way, Jason should be getting his Skype done because Jason's going to be on the show on Wednesday. He's one of the people. For the love of God, Jason, you better get that damn Skype working, man. There's my buddy, Redfish Chuck. Redfish Chuck, you should call in on this live show on Wednesday, too, if you want to be a thing. You know my phone number, so if you have Skype, text me because I'd love to talk to you and see how you're doing. Anyway, guys, stay healthy. We send our love. Uh, God bless. And get out there and go fishing. Rem oh, remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on! We'll see you Wednesday, man. Cheers, guys. Later.